בגיי את. of one who holds absolute power within their grasp. You fail to understand the depth of human greed. It may be so. Yet it is this which I do understand, the strength which comes from the hearts of those who do believe. And I, for one, believe in that potential. Ha! Is that so? And then what? What has this belief brought you? As of this moment, you are my prisoner. And your precious Dragon Master is nowhere to be found. No human possesses the ability to approach this undersea fortress, the Leviathan. Your rule is over. You are wrong. This world shall not fail. It shall not. Then believe what you will, as you fade to nothing. In the flames of the Fenacheron! At last, the time has finally come. The time in which I shall become the god of this world. Five princes of the Black Star, heeding our covenant, I offer unto you the power of Althena, the entirety of her magic. I won't let you. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Eiffel. It's time to return the goddess. Dragon Master! I hope you haven't forgotten about us. Watch out! Please move! Get your fat butt off me! How rude! My behind is hardly... I am appalled by the language you're using. I shall report this to your wife, Lorena. 
Please, I beg you, anything but that. Lamia? Mel? How can this be? The both of you were most certainly dead. I'm not dead till I'm six feet under! No matter the means, it's impossible to reach this place, dead or alive. Don't forget who you're dealing with, Eiffel. Actually, this was Might's doing, so we do owe him a bit of a favor. A bit? I'm going to be the one picking up the pieces once this is said and done. How many times have I said, think first, then act? Sorry about that. Don't look out! Nice try. How long will you continue to stand in my way, Dragon Master? As long as you keep continuing to go down the wrong path. Except this shall be your last. O oh, five princes of the Black Star, revenge shall be ours. Fill your vessel with the power of a god. Let us grant this desire. Nay, let it be done. Will this not learn so much Nay, it shall be amusing in its own right. The destruction of men at the hands of one another is our sole desire. Take up thine arms and fight, humans! Oh, absolutely magnificent. So this is the power of a god. Can't be. This power is... Without a doubt, it's Althena's power. What the hell? I'm uncertain, but perhaps this is the... This time, I shall put an end to you, once and for all.
can't be! How can I be defeated? Without further ado, we're here to reclaim Althena. You! Such is the human vessel. Too fragile to harness the power of Althena. I concur! Yet notwithstanding, a sufficient vessel for our own advent. Yea, let us make haste, for I desire a body wherewith to travel, destroy, and sow the seeds of terror. Now, I command you, yield thy body, human! What, what is this? No! Stay back! Get away from me! I thought... No. So you finally thrown away your humanity! You're a bigger fool than I thought! Five princes of the Black Star have descended using the power of Althena? Nothing to chance. This thing now possesses the power of a god. It's more formidable than anything we've ever encountered. You can't be a real man if you're afraid to take risks. Ha! That's just the kind of manly line I'd expect out of you at a time like this, Dai. You're a man, huh? <sighs> For one who's nothing more than the petty servant of Athena, thou darest to deride the god dragon master. Foolish mortal, thou shalt feel our wrath. not empty. That's right. It's the song Althena sang as she journeyed beside us. Teaching us that the joy and sadness of our world and all its people's hopes and dreams are found within the melody. As she has ceaselessly watched over us with infinite compassion. Althena's true and undying love for this world and for all of her people. That is the meaning of this song. For as long as Althena believes in her people, we shall never suffer defeat. Now let us fight! Gladly! Yes! Indeed! Your pathetic nature is unrivaled! Now meet your eternal demise, humans!
Cortina. I'm glad that you're safe. We have come for you, Althena. Althena, uh, as you know, I'm overjoyed to hear your lovely voice again. And I yours. Goddess Althena, the power maintaining this world's balance has begun to run out of control. It's only a matter of time till the Black Star collides with this world, destroying us all. All is not lost. But... Dime, I'm afraid there is one thing that Eiffel spoke of, which was indeed true. For too many ages have I... You need not say it. Dime, I will do what must be done. I shall proceed to the Goddess Tower in order to protect this world. You say there's still a way to avert this crisis? Yes. Then we shall provide your escort. Hurry, Alpina. Vane can't hold off the Black Star alone. Let us make haste. It is not over, Galleon. For I shall prophesy unto you, just as I now sit in ruin, so shall be your fate. Fool. Adventure came to fill my mind. Adventure and Dragon Master Dine, who fought so valiantly to protect the goddess Althena. I wonder if Dine stood here before setting off on his own adventures. One day, I too hope to heed the call of the wind, beckoning me to the lands beyond, to where my own adventures await. Alex! Alex! Are you up here? Hey there, Nal. What do you mean, oh, hey there? What's wrong? Are you deaf or something? I've been calling around for you everywhere. Alex, I thought you might be up here. You'll never guess what happened. Those heaping mounds of ice that were blocking the entrance to the White Dragon Cave have finally melted away. 
If we hurry, we can probably sneak in past the dragon. Looks like you're late again, silly. Were you idling the morning away at Dine's Monument again? Or were you busy planning another escapade with Ramus?
has disturbed my peaceful slumber. It has been quite a long time since I last laid eyes on one of your kind. I am Quark, master of this secluded place. So tell me, what business do you have here today with this ancient old dragon, my fine young adventurers? <laughs> <laughs> 